Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm back for vein day eight. The next time y'all will see me will be in the next couple hours. Oh crap, because I am about to leave out. Oh my God, this light. Can y'all see me? Yeah, cause I'm about to leave out for um meeting at my job so i will see y'all when i get back but yeah um that's it um after that y'all will get two videos today because i have to upload the videos now i edited it already but yeah i'll see y'all when i get back in the house all right adios hey y'all what's up what's up what's up oh snap i'm back in the house from my meeting for work i actually been in the house for a minute I am currently about to eat this dinner. I got some, can y'all see? Hold on. Got some salad and some spaghetti. But yeah, that's it. I'm about to watch um, Keisha's and Jeremy's channel. <clears throat> and that's it. So, nothing too spectacular. And then I have my water. Shout out to Hydra Peak. <clears throat> I really love um, their products. But, you know, it keeps this. this. Hold on. This keeps. Your beverage is hot for 30 and cold for 60. It's definitely legit. Oh my god. I'm so hungry. Yeah, but um, I'll get back to you after I finish eating because I'm hungry. Like, really, really hungry. Finally, finish editing. Now I'm just waiting for it to save. It is Friday, November 8th at 9 11 p.m. You're probably always wondering why am I in why am I always in this red hoodie? This is my hoodie when I'm home. This is what I do when I'm home. If I'm on my couch, I have my hoodie or just period. I have my hoodie. Then I grab my pillow off of my bed and I put it on my couch. Even though I have other pillows on my couch. And I'm just chilling. And that's it. But yeah, I'm here over here watching um <coughs> Keisha Anderson her vlogs. That's all she does. She's a vlogger. That's all she does is vlog, yo. I really, 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 really like her channel. Um, I'm trying to watch like from when she first started up to now. It's like she literally vlogs her whole life. And I'm like, wow. I don't know what it is, but I'm so obsessed with that. Like, I love watching vloggers who like really vlog their whole life. This is something that I would like. get to do like over time because. I don't know. I just think it's interesting. But yeah, I'm going all the way back. I want to get a new MacBook. I want to get the newest one with the fingerprint touch. With a face ID or fingerprint ID touch. Yeah, that crap is so cool. That's what the world is coming to, y'all. AI is taking over everything. AI and cybersecurity. 
is taking over just about everything. And thank God I have a um um IT savvy, so I wish I can walk to the day on cafe and upload something. I keep I'm so sorry y'all. I keep saying I'll upload, upload, but I'm having the last two days of school and then working and had a meeting and it's a lot. <clears throat> and I'm supposed to I keep telling myself to call Comcast so I can upgrade my speed quality for my internet. Because that's the reason why I had to go somewhere else and upload. Because of my speed quality here. I wasn't even thinking about... Because I remember when Xfinity first told me <clears throat> about the mega... The, M, the M, MBPS. Speed. <clears throat> and I wasn't even thinking about that. At the time. Because I was like, all I'm going to do... If I'm home using my Wi-Fi, I'm just using my phone. <clears throat> my um, MacBook. And my TV, and that's it. But he said if you want to upload anything, the uh, the Xfinity technician did mention if you want to upload or if you have want if you want to run more than like three devices on your phone, on your um Wi-Fi, you need to upgrade your um your speeds your speeds. So I don't know. I wasn't thinking about that, but. I'm definitely going to go ahead and do that soon. Why am I not... Where are the ones vlogging that I was watching of this? I don't know where the blue is. Oh yeah, good. It was vlog. I mean, I was catching up on her vlog in this twenty seventeen. <coughs> Excuse me, cause she been doing YouTube since twenty sixteen. I didn't know she was that young either. She started doing it her junior year, Spider-Man, in twenty sixteen. I was like, oh, I'm dying. I think she's like twenty five now. But her and Jeremy is so adorable. And I like how she'd be like, Bae, Bae. He'd be like, Keisha, 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 Keisha. It's so cute. I get my hair cut tomorrow. I can't wait. I can't wait. I was just with her, yeah. I think this is the reason why it's taking so long though. Um, save because this vlog is 30 minutes long. Thirty freaking minutes long. Hey guys, Keisha here and Jeremy. And today we will be showing you guys how we make chicken parmesan asparagus and mashed potatoes. Our recipe is amazing. Definitely one for the books for you guys to cook for your family, for friends, or for any late night. <laughs> <laughs> This is vlog style, but more so with the professional. We really want to try to get our chicken 
I'm gonna start doing some cooking videos too. The only thing about cooking videos, like when I watch like Tay and Lou, shout out to Tay and Lou too. I noticed, and uh, who else? And when B Love first started, when when B Love first started, she um, it was her and her husband, and I, I know he used to record her, but Tay and Lou. They record each other sometimes too, but I noticed that they have more than, I think one or two cameras running from different ends or different angles. So that's cool. I know you can do that too. I don't think about that. I would hate editing. Because if you have more than one camera, more than two, and you have to get them from all different angles, that would annoy the crap out of me. But with my setup now, I could probably do it. Well, I, I can do it. I probably just can't record myself. But it is what it is. What in the world? I literally just charged this egg on computer. And it's at 12% already. No, I'm just making on a charger. Well, it's almost done. I'm going to give me a little, you know, a dot beverage. Excuse me, y'all. This hoodie is so beat up. I get my haircut tomorrow at 11 o'clock, so I gotta wake up. I wake up, I said 11 o'clock. I'll probably upload, wake up early, yeah. Because I always usually just catch a Uber there, which I still might, of course, going to do. But I might just catch a, um, catch a, the light rail, the metro. I had Apple. Look, y'all. Hold on. A little candle. But this is my little bar. Um, oh, I can't even see my little flask. <laughs> I got that in New York. And I got this. I forgot what island I went to when I got this. But this is my favorite sangria, y'all. Soda Homes. This, shout out to Soda Homes. This is my favorite sangria ever. My favorite. And then... I cannot pronounce this, but I know it's Sinistra wine. It's a dessert wine. I love red, sweet red wine. Um, but it's a dessert wine. Um, and my mom got this for me for Christmas last year in 2018. And y'all probably can't see it. Oh, y'all probably can. I don't know. But see. I don't drink it like that unless I'm like cooking or eating like a nice meal because there's so much alcohol in it. Hold on. I don't even get the light on. Y'all probably can't even see me. There's so much alcohol. The alcohol content is 20%. And then my mom got that. She got me that, the wine, and she got me this for Christmas last year because I saved corkscrews. I would probably show y'all my little get up on my kitchen table. I have to clean up my table. But see, I saved corkscrews. And then peach parmesan. 
is one of my favorite um, um, brandies. Shout out to my um, my best friend. She got this for me for my birthday. And then shout out to <laughs> my homie, one of my friends. He, um, me and him, I introduced him to, I like, I like all my dark liquor. I like red wine, I like dark liquor, but I drink my dark liquor with sweet tea. So I put him onto it, and now he's addicted to it. So, yeah. He been there trying to say that I put him on, though. No. I mean, that he put me on, because I definitely put him on. And then Evan Williams Apple. This is okay, but y'all know Jack Daniels just came out with their Apple version. Literally, when they came out with their Apple version, Evan Williams came out with their Apple version. Because, you know, Evan Williams is the cheaper version of Jack Daniels, basically. But, um... Yeah, and then... I got this. Um... My mom got this for me a couple months ago. Cause if I go back and watch my China vlog, I did go to China in um, <clears throat> May and June. I was there for a little while. And for my going away, I had like a little, you know, send off party. My mom got this for me and I love it. My mom is such an inspirational person. She inspires me a lot. Um, <clears throat> but it says, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, so. You know, I like to keep this just so I can see it consistently. I recently got this candle. At um, Ross. And yo, I, this is my first time like ever going to Ross. I know Ross, TG Maxx, and like Burlington, and Home Goods, and all, all them stores are like all connected together. But I was like, I never been inside Ross, so I went inside Ross. And I was like, yo, I actually like Ross. I got that candle, it smells so good. It was $3.50. <clears throat> and it is a harvest sangria. So it was like apple, cinnamon, pomegranate, stuff like that. <clears throat> then I got this little small wine rack from Avon. This lady in my job was selling some Avon. She was like, they got men's fragrances in here. You should get some. I was like, I'm good. <laughs> Thanks anyway. But um uh saw that I saw that wine rack, so I, I said, let me get one. So I got one. And yeah, that's it. Oh snap. Why is this not open? Oh. I save my Talati cups. <laughs> Call me whatever. I'm doing. It's like. Homemade sweet tea. I only like brew tea. So I make it myself. That's hitting the spike. Yep. <laughs> Psych. What is that? My beverage. Mm -hmm. I should have took a shot. <clears throat> but yep. Yeah, made me a little beverage. I don't drink during the week. Unless I'm off. No. Okay. Yes, it's almost saved.
my couch. Put this on the charger. Yeah, because they're focusing. <coughs> Let me just bring the charger over here. Ah! A chemical peel on my lips. <laughs> Jeremy is crazy. Let me get back to y'all real quick. Let me finish letting this video upload. And I'm probably going to FaceTime my best friend, Jade. I was wishing she can come over tonight. But I'll get back to y'all. What's up, y'all? I'm literally in the bed. It's 1.50 a.m. On a Saturday in Baltimore. And I can't sleep. I'm typically like on a Friday night, if I'm not doing anything with like my friends, I'm typically in the house. But I'm really, really annoyed right now. Kinda like in my feelings. I'm not even kinda I am in my feelings. But I'm just trying to be an adult about it. I really am trying to be an adult about it. It's like, y'all ever been in a situation where it's just like... I don't know how to describe it. Not even a situation, but you just haven't had feelings. Or... You want to express your feelings, but you don't want to be immature or petty or mean it's like you want to still be an adult but the situation and deal with it yourself and just let it be and just say it is what it is or just learn how to deal with it within yourself that's kind of where I am right now but it's so hard it's so hard like cause I I'm used to um, kind of doing the same thing over and over and over when it comes to hold on um, it's, it's like the same thing like is that right perpet perpetual um The way I deal with my feelings, you know, is always the way I deal with my feelings is always like us the same perpetuating cycle. It's ever it's like it never changes. I know how I am, and I'm about to be thirty in one year, and I just cannot continue to be the same way. I really can't. 
I really can't, and I'm just trying my hardest to to change. Like you don't understand. Like I'm, I go to therapy. I talk to my therapist about a lot, and it's hard. It's hard because sometimes you you just want you just want what you want, and you can't always get what you want. And growing up, it's like. I never really had to want for anything. Thank God it. I had parents who, who raised me, my brother. I have an older sister and a younger brother. Um, you know, we were raised correct. We were raised right. Like and we never had to want for anything. Um my parents provided a good life for me. And growing up, I can kinda see I was talking to my therapist about this. And I can like I was saying I, I can kind of see how like that played out a little bit in my adulthood because when it comes to what I want and I when I don't get what I want I typically don't want nothing at all I'm not a person that's trying to settle or compromise how I feel when it comes to what I want in life and. That typically um fans out or pans out pretty bad for me, and it just hurts if if like it really really fucking hurts. And um, all I can do is just deal with it, learn from it, and grow. And like I said, I must be thirty, and I can't keep doing the same thing. Like I really can't be doing keep doing the same thing. Um. So yeah, that's kind of how I feel right now. I'm really, really in my feelings, but I get over it, I guess. How does this vlog camera? Look? How does this hold on? Can y'all see me? I need to be in the bed. I just can't go to sleep. I really can't go to sleep. I'm um on the internet just doing some research while I'm laying in bed. Like I was literally sitting on my couch <clears throat> watching Style in Hollywood. I love that show. <laughs> I mean, it's only one season, but I've watched the same season over and over and over and over and over and over again. Because Jason Bolden is one of my favorite um celebrity stylists. It's it's a show about him and his um husband. And they have a company together called JSN Studio, where it's fashion and interior design. And his husband is an is is a celebrity interior design. Um, hold up. Jason's husband Adair is a. He does inside. He does design. Blah, 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 blah. He does interior design for celebrities. And Jason style celebrities. But they have a uh, um, company together called JSN Studios. But I've been new about Jason and Adair for a while. Like, they've been married for like a good seven years. And I've been following Jason's career since he first started. I remember when he had his, when he had a store. I think it was like a, um, a vintage store in um, New York. So I remember, like, I've been a fan of him since a long, long time. But yeah, him and his husband have a show on Netflix called Style in Hollywood. And I love it. I love it. It kind of gives me hope, like, to see, like, a black gay married couple in the forefront like that. It gives me hope. But, um, hmm. Anyway. I cannot wait to get my hair cut. Jesus, I cannot wait. I'm trying to see if I'm going to watch YouTube or not. I'm always watching YouTube. I watch so many bloggers. Excuse me. I'm trying to like find different ways to see how I can. Hold on. Yeah. How I can like um 
find different ways to make my channel better or what I can do. But y'all, oh my gosh, y'all ever watch Grandpa Kitchen on YouTube? If you type in Grandpa Kitchen, oh my gosh, you will know that Grandpa died. He was an old man, like, who cooked for the orphans in his village from where he's from. I think he is from, if I am not mistaken, India, but don't quote me. But he would cook all meals for, like, the, the kids in his village back where he's from and he just died but he was like he was an older man but it was just like wow i watch his videos all the time because he would always cook for like these um the kids and the kids really enjoyed his cooking and you know like if you go to like certain countries and they have like villages and towns and they're not like really modern modern i'm sorry i cannot pronounce this word y'all modern and they still live like, you know, in like tent, not even tents, I'm sorry, like they still build huts and stuff like that. They do all their cooking outside. It's a very like country, rural area. But, you know, I think the person who was operating the channel was his son or his grandson. But they were like film it. They had like a whole production, film it, film him cooking at all the food outside everything just go to check it out on youtube it's called grandpa kitchen but i wonder who took over the channel i wonder if this is his son or his um grandson that took over the channel but next time you say t-mobile <laughs> Jeez. 6.41 million subscribers he had. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Mm. I wonder if he had just like. Hold on, let me watch the video. Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to our channel. Today I am preparing chicken joint roast. Children likes this recipe very much. Let's start the recipe. Chicken leg pieces. Yeah, I don't I don't know who this is. I wonder if this is his son or grandson. And like over in those countries where he's from. They typically like, um, they kill the animals themselves and everything and gut them out and clean them out. It was, it was just amazing. Like what he did for like his area. Oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, excuse me, y'all. But um, I don't know. I might have just chill until I fall asleep. I'm not sleepy, y'all. But I might just think about some stuff really hard and just watch some YouTube until I fall asleep. But don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Um. Click the bell. Comment below. Just please comment, y'all. And like I said, please like, comment, 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 comment. Talk to me. Engage with me. Follow my social medias. Subscribe. Tell your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your aunts, uncles, and cousins to come back to my channel. And just to subscribe and share and share and share. All right, Joshy Joints. I'll see y'all tomorrow for 
Vine or Vein day number nine. All right, see y'all. Love y'all. Adios.